back to Victor and Bella Crafts. Victor here, hope you're all well. So um, this is my lovely boho journal for my How Boho Can You Go um, collaboration kit. Um, she's all finished, she's all bound. Um, I've decided not to bind the outer um, cover on because I wanted to leave a little bit of flexibility. Plus if she's posted, I think it may be easier to disseminate her and package her safer into two um, flat by flat bundles with that laid over the top, but we'll see. So for the time being, I've left the cover loose to give us options. Now I'm not gonna do a flip through on that today. Um, if you would like to see a flip through of my boho journal, please just pop a comment down below and I will do you one for the next video. But um, I don't like doing flip throughs if it just bores people. So if you don't, if you would like to see it, um, just give me a shout and I will do a flip through. But instead today, welcome to my chaotic mess. Um, this is my desk. Um, if you remember back at the very, very beginning, we made um, this rather lovely um, flip um, ephemera holder. Or bits of paper, no? Um, and I did it to, obviously to keep in all my bits of my ephemera throughout the collaboration. And oh, I just found another pocket. Do you know what? It, literally, there are so many pockets in this thing, I forget that they're there. So, yes, yeah, so there's more ephemera there to use. Excellent. So, basically, this was stuffed to the gills with um, all sorts of bits and pieces of uh, the kit. Um, literally every pocket had something hidden away in it. I've still got loads and loads of words in here as well. Um, but I'm going to hang on to those just for the minute. But what I've done is I've taken everything out except for the envelopes. Um, and I want to do something now with all of these leftover bits and pieces. Because um, I do have another journal with which to fill. So I've been having a little play. And I've made a start on a um, like a snippet roll thing. So I thought we could crack on with this and then I'm going to use some other bits and pieces that I've got on my desk to decorate it up. Um, but I thought just for the minute we will carry on and we'll add another strip on um, and just make it, you know, a little bit longer. So I'm just going to tear down. What I've been doing is I've been popping it onto some, um, just some coffee dyed paper look and then just taking it up or down. The bits that I did have were a bit wide so I'm going to just trim that down a second. Sorry, I should have done that before I put the camera on. But it was getting to the point where it was like, delay, delay, delay. Rachel, get the camera on. We never get the video done. Um, I'm suffering from a bit of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, procrastination at the minute now. Because I've had a bit of a slow week doing videos, trying to get back into the swing of it now. And I, I'm like, I can't get, get going. Stupid, isn't it? But there we are. So... And of course, this weather here has been horrendous today. Absolutely horrendous. Never known rain like it. Well, it's rather ridiculous to say, of course, I've known rain like it. I live in Wales. It's always raining here. But it's just ridiculous. And it's dark and it's miserable. And it's tricky then. You're trying to get motivated to do stuff, isn't it? And it's like the weather's just meh. So they're all right. Well, I came up here to start on this this morning because I felt a bit like I was very tired this morning. I'm not going to lie. Very tired. Um after a week of getting up at five to take shorter work and then obviously going back over then for the afternoon pickup I've been like a zombie so I don't do five o'clock in the morning I used to get up at that time I used to get up and run at that time I can't believe I used to do it not now no they let me sleep the trouble is because you don't go to sleep till late because oh, you because I I should say sorry because I don't go to sleep till late um early mornings are not my time then um so yeah so what have you all been up to this week now before i go on sorry i meant to open the video with this uh yesterday's video i did a giveaway i haven't drawn it yet because i know there are still some people that are, have been trying to put comments down and were a bit nervous because of something that happened last night um yesterday no this morning i got up to some very kind um individuals and i thank you for getting straight in contact with me ladies let me know that a spammer had been putting messages onto my comments making out that they were it was me speaking does that make sense so they were writing them as if it was me i don't know what it says on who it was from because i can't see it but um the comments were left on many of the comments apparently um saying that to contact them through an app called telegram um so I just want to make absolutely completely clear to you guys, I will never, ever put a comment in the comment section on YouTube 
asking you to sign up to an app. Never. I would never do that. If I'm going to tell you you've won a giveaway, I will do it in a video so you know it's genuine. And I will always say to you, message me on my Etsy account because you know it's a genuine, it's, it's us. You know it's us who you're talking to. So please, 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 please do not ever respond to messages on um, YouTube telling you to do something because it is not me especially if they put a link on there. That is a scammer and it is spam. Um, I have mentioned this before. I just want to reiterate that because uh, one lady who messaged me, she messaged me on Etsy, thankfully, to say, hey, Rachel, is this you? Um, she said it had asked for her bank details. So I, I was quite alarmed at that point. Um, very annoyed that people are doing this on my, um, on my comments and um, targeting my subscribers because... You know, it makes you very vulnerable. And so I'm, I'm really annoyed that that's happened. And I'm ever so sorry. Um, but like I say, I, I'm tr I've been trying to clean it up all day. But I can't even see what you guys can see. So I, I don't quite know how they're hiding their comments from me. But I, I'm literally just having to go off screenshots that some of you have sent to me. So thank you so much. Because if you didn't tell me, I wouldn't know. And it would all just be there now. It's still confusing people. So I did pin a comment earlier on today just to kind of make you aware if you were still posting. Um, but I know a few of you have messaged me and have been afraid to post, so don't be afraid to leave a comment. Just do not interact with anything, if anything ever gets written on any of my comments. And I know I'm not the only person that's had this happen. It's happened to quite a few other YouTubers as well. Um, so just, just to be aware, if, if ever you get a, a link put into a comment, that is not the YouTuber, that is going to be spam, because we wouldn't do that. In fact, I don't even know how to post a link into a comment. I didn't think you could do that. It's, it's marvellous, isn't it? The things that you want to be able to do, like somebody will ask, oh, you know, have you seen a video on this? And they'll be like, yeah, I'll pop a link here. Oh, no, I can't do that. But if I was a spam bot or a scammer, there'd be a way for them to do it. I get very frustrated by that. But I definitely don't like people taking advantage of you guys. Um, you know, when you're just leaving comments for giveaways or whatever. That's not on, is it? So I am sorry that that has happened to some of you today. Um, but please just remember, don't click on links that you don't know where they're from. Um, only interact with uh, people on social media through the proper channels, okay? Um, if you leave a comment down below, that's wonderful. But don't ever interact then if anything is put on there. Because unfortunately, we are susceptible to... Um, to these spammers it's like a double-edged sword you know we need you guys to interact with us for our channels to survive but then i feel bad then because i feel like you're vulnerable because you've left a comment now on my thing and i feel responsible now that um somebody's targeting you so i am so sorry about that um and i am very grateful for all of your support and all your comments um i will draw that giveaway now in my next video um i just didn't want to quickly do that then today and then People have missed out because this nonsense was going on. So I do hope that you'll understand. Um, and we will do that then in the next video when that goes up. Um, I'm trying to find my stride a bit now this week. I've been left at a bit of a, um, a loose end. I was going to say, no, not a loose end. I'm definitely not a loose end. Um, I've been left at a bit of a, uh, you know, a drift after my 100 days. And because um, it coincided then with the uh, retreat. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm stifling a yawn. That's really rude. I do apologise. See, I told you I was tired. <laughs> that's, you know, that is me. That's me boring myself to death. <laughs> now you see why so many YouTubers drink coffee when they're doing their videos. <laughs> I get cats at you yawning. You, actually, I'm going to tell you now. You wouldn't believe how often I yawn in the middle of my video. It's the talking it is. I'm running out of oxygen, obviously. I should open my window. But you wouldn't believe how often I yawn in my videos and you just don't know about it. <laughs> this is like a really long, long pause, especially if in the middle of saying something. It's usually just me yawning. <laughs> now I'm going to ask that question again now. How many of you have now just yawned because I'm talking about yawning? Or because I did a yawn? <laughs> I remember asking you all that once before and actually quite a lot of you did. They're contagious, did you know? I'm going to stop talking about it now because I'm going to start yawning again otherwise. And that's just not good. It's, it's just going to be really rude. I'm just going to be sat here kind of going, yawn, 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 yawn. <laughs> I'm not bored, honestly. No, I'm trying to I'm trying to get this. I wanted to do this for ages. Absolutely ages. And 
it just feels indulgent to me. It'd be in a sad, because I always feel like I've got to be producing, like, you know, major things. But this feels indulgent to me today to be sat here sticking, sticking these little bits together. Um, even though I know it, it's, you know, it's a means to an end. But um, it does, it feels indulgent. I feel like I should be doing something more for you. But I know you enjoy doing these little um, activities as well. We're going to just fill to the end and then we're going to pop some bits and pieces on then, okay? But I just want you to kind of like get into that mood of being chill. Don't yawn. <laughs> if you're crying out loud, don't fall asleep, whatever you do. But yeah, so oh, I've been full pelt today now, sorting out the next retreat, getting more invoices drawn up. So if you have booked in the last two days, your invoice will be on the way. If you have booked and you've booked on the thing, and um, please check your spam for an email from me because um, for some unknown reason, our Gmail, if you haven't emailed me first, the emails tend to go into people's spam. So just, just check your junk if you're expecting an invoice. All right. Um, and you haven't seen it yet because that's probably where it's gone. Um, what should we put on here next? Should we have those books? I like those books. They look cool. Um, but I want something behind there first. Um, 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 um. I'm trying not to overthink this process. I love that picture. Should I put that one on there next? Have I got that one on? No, I haven't, have I? Right, yeah, let's put that one on next. Um, but no, I wanted to kind of do something with all of this that I could then utilise. And I was watching Shiva's flip through. Um, did he put yes or yesterday? Because she um, she couldn't get her video up in time for the collaboration. It is up now. Um, so if you want to go and check it out, please go and check it out. Because her journal is absolutely beautiful. Every journal she makes is absolutely beautiful, but this is no exception. Um, but she mentions in there about using her snippet rolls, because I know she did snippet rolls. She did this in the last collaboration. What was the last one that we did, guys? Show some style? Yeah, and she did um, a snippety roll like this. And then she used it then in her How Boho Can You Go journal. And I thought, oh, Shiva, if you want to do that since you did your video. There we go. Right. So we'll pop that on something else along the line. Okay, so I've now got myself a nice long, and I'm going to fly it past your screen. Snippety, snippety, snippety. Ha ha, how cool is that? So that is three lengths of A4 at the minute, Um, because I've used three lengths. Wait, that's one, two, three. Right, let's just push some of these back out of the way a minute. I'm going to keep the words out and I'm going to keep some of the tickets out because I, what I think I might do is add them on and some of the text and add them on. I'm going to kind of like layer up now if that makes sense. Why have I got it chucked on my desk you might ask? Well the reason is because I was trying to like spread it out and see what was there. I could make like six of these with what I've got left over here. Literally loads and loads and loads. So what else have I got here now? Well, I've got some of these lovely star stickers. These have come from Grabby. They were in that, um, do you remember did that unboxing of the, the, of the monthly box thing uh, earlier in the month? So they were out of that pack. And also this lovely little booklet was also in there. So I've got some marvellous stickers in here. I've already popped one on. It wasn't, didn't run very straight, but I'm not going to overly worry about that. Um, and I thought perhaps we could get some of these on there because they're like, there we go, little labels. And they might just make things a little bit more interesting. Um, and then I've got some scraps of uh, lace here. I thought we could pop those on there too. And I have got some of these lovely little heart dangle things. Oh, these there. So we might pop some of those on as well. I've got a little bit of th the trim there. I've also got these shiny little hearts things that can be stuck on as well so I thought we'll just give it a go and we'll see how we get on and then to finish and I'm not going to do it before I'm going to do it right at the end I'm going to then stitch over it all okay so let us put some fabric bits on it next I think and then we'll see how we get on with those so I was talking to you all in the last video I think it was I was telling you some bits and pieces about um 
the retreat and what we all got up to or didn't or didn't what happens on tour stays on tour and all that um but no we um I d did i tell you about the <laughs> yeah because you're going to tell me yes rach you did you told us this um about the workshops that we did because i actually well, i missed the first workshop because obviously i explained i had to go um go to the school on the first day for a very important appointment for dan um oh, come along and then whilst i was out bella was holding down the reins and she did a fantastic um slow stitch oh so i'm not sure i don't think i told you all did i about the um the workshops that we did at the retreat um when we on the one day i of the tuesday i had to go out i've explained all that to you and i had to go to a um, teacher meeting at dan school um and bella took over for the day and in the morning they did a workshop on slow stitch um i don't know exactly what she did because obviously i wasn't there but i know she was helping them make she'd made up like loads and loads of these packs oh, taking her weeks to do it all um she did the, uh, these lovely little packs to make little slow stitch books i do know what they did i don't know why i just said that they were making little slow stitch books um bella has done a few flip throughs on her channel uh if you haven't checked them out please do go and check them out because they are absolutely gorgeous she made me one a couple of years ago a larger book and it was beautiful she also made me one of these small um, slow stitch book packs a couple of years back and I actually took it away on holiday with me and it was the most relaxing holiday I think I've had in a long, long time. Um, and I was even able to do it in the car while we were travelling. So, um, yeah, she did a, a little workshop with them, um, showing them how to do one of these little books. Uh, and that actually went in really, really well and they really enjoyed that. And I think there were quite a few there that maybe hadn't tried... Um, slow stitch before um and have been converted and are hooked so that's really nice to see and if you are in our facebook group you will see um a couple of the posts going up sharon reese in particular she's really really enthusiastic and has really taken to it she um made a beautiful um i think she's finished her book i'm sure it was sharon who's finished hers she posted it on facebook i think yesterday or the day before so again, if you uh, get the chance to, do check those out because um, they are amazing what the ladies have been doing. And it's just so lovely seeing them all getting into the slow stitching because it really, um, at first, I've got to be honest, I didn't quite get it when mum was first doing it, as I am. I'm always a bit I'm a slow glue and I'm late, always late to every party. Aren't I? Um, and I was a bit like, why are you doing that then, mum? Because my mother's always been able to sew really, really well. She she went to college um wanted to do fashion design and i think she thinks she just took a different course for her but um she's she made my sister's wedding dress she made all our bridesmaids dresses uh, she's very very talented my mother um and she obviously you know does a lot of sewing alongside if you've ever seen any of her journals or you've been fortunate enough to buy one of her journals you'll always notice there's a lot of stitching in there um and it does come very naturally to her so i was a bit late to the party and i was like well, what's with all the sewing how does that fit with the paper but it does it really the two complement each other really really well um and i just find anything that is slow stitched is i don't know i just think it really like accentuates it it, it gives it dimension you know um so yeah that was a super successful workshop um and I know that the ladies have already asked if she can do another one at the next uh, retreat. So I'm going to have to uh, chat her up very kindly. And um, I'm sure she will uh, oblige you all because she is lovely like that. Um, so that was the first workshop. And then I was back then um, for lunch. Um, and then in the afternoon, we had another workshop then that was done by Rose from Journals in Time who came all the way from Ireland, bless her heart, um, and she did an amazing workshop with them with Mixed Media. And they basically had all these different stations um, and everybody had to like do something at an individual station. So there's different types of Mixed Media there. Um, and they it was on a timer. I've got to be honest, I can't remember how long each one was, but they had a certain amount of time to do their activity and then they had to swap then so they had to get up move 
I think I think the people were moving to the left, and I think the the piece of paper then would move to the right. So everybody basically had a go working on um, the bit of paper, and each bit of paper went through each station. And then at the end, then they cut them all up, and everybody had a piece of everybody's. Um, and they had these lovely journal card things then, um, these little mixed media cards, which were great. Um, and they all really, really enjoyed it. And I think there were a lot of people there that perhaps hadn't had the chance to try out different mixed media. So, for example, like had the opportunity to use a jelly plate um, and fair play. Rose went through all of that with them and showed them how to do the different things, how to use gesso. Um, it was really good. It was really a lot of energy going on as well, you know, and I think after... Because uh, we didn't do too many workshops because obviously people came to relax and to do their crafting and catch up on stuff. But um, it was nice to have those little optional breakouts if people wanted to go and take part in that, you know. So um, not everybody did them, but most people did. Um, but like I say, it was entirely up to them. It, there was no pressure. You know, you didn't have to, um, you know, go over and join in. You were quite able to just carry on with what you were doing if you wanted to. So I just think it was nice to have the options there, really. Um, and then on the last day then, um, as you've probably heard, I did the uh, activity with them all to make uh, master boards. Um, and then we've, of course, now turned those into digi kits. So if you haven't yet heard, where have you been? <laughs> but no, if you haven't yet uh, caught that, there is a new kit on my um, Etsy shop and coffee shop. Um, and it is a combined collaboration master board kit and they're amazing absolutely amazing master boards you, you know they, they are the basis for any project that you'll ever need there's, there's all different styles and colors and shades and things on this so uh, go and check those out and, and see who was in attendance and and what amazing work of art they came up with um so yeah that was all really exciting and a lot of fun um, you know, we learnt lots of things. There's things that we'll do differently next time. Um, but, yeah, I can't wait. I'm really excited now for this one in November. Because um, we're in a hotel, so it'll be a bit different again. Um, but I haven't gone into any cooking. <laughs> and everybody sighed with relief. Ah. <laughs> no, I just mean I can, um, you know, get a chance to chat to people a bit more and... Um, hopefully do some crafting and somebody somebody i can't remember who it was in the retreat group yesterday mentioned the c word <gasps> christmas somebody said i wonder how many people will be working on their christmas craft and i thought oh my gosh yes oh my gosh yes because I, I i will confess i won't, you won't find any christmas in july here on my channel i'm afraid um i just can't do it I can't get my head into that in the middle of the year. It's just no, not happening. My room is a tip at the minute. There's boho everywhere. There's summery stuff everywhere. Um, and I like it like that. The thought of getting my Christmas stuff out now, I think I would have a nervous breakdown. So that won't be happening here, I'm afraid. But there are lots of amazing channels that are doing Christmas in July. So do go check them out if that's your thing. Um, but I will wait and hang on until our, um, our retreat in november because not only that but we will also then have just launched the a to z christmas uh craft collaboration for the third year on the same weekend so it'll all be going on so i just need to be super organized for this otherwise i'll end up uh just forgetting everything <laughs> no it'll all be fine it'll all be fine now i love these stickers that we've got in here look they're like little labels look so i'm gonna just pop them over the top because this is all about layering, this is, and just making it. I'm a bit worried about that. I'm going to leave that off a minute, I think, because I'm going to be stitching and I'm just worried, worried, as they say, about it um, hitting on my um, needle. That would not be good, would it? No, definitely wouldn't. I'm just wondering why the tap is running downstairs. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. I've just realised it's because my middle boy is downstairs doing the dishes so again i'm going to say nothing because <laughs> he's washing up bless his heart he's just done tea for him and his younger brother um and he's he is cleaning up tonight which is great because he was down there cooking like it's like having gordon ramsay in my kitchen well no it's not like i'm gordon ramsay at all that's a terrible analogy because gordon ramsay's meant to be quite angry and uh, my son is not like that in the kitchen at all uh Anton, we've renamed him now because he's he's since he's been away at uni, he's been using his middle name, which is Anthony. So um, of course, I keep calling him Rob, which is like mum. 
I'm like, oh, look, I can't get used to it. This is why I named you. <laughs> you know, I haven't used his middle name. But um, we went boning last week, and on the thing, it, it didn't have the whole of Anthony on it. His brother put it on there, and uh, it just said Anton, so I, I've been calling him Debeck now. <laughs> oh, my kids are used to just come into whatever I shout at them. So when I used to get really irritated or frantic when they were all younger and being naughty and I'd be like, hey, blah, 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 you, one, two, no, number three, you, yes, you. Because <laughs> you just get all their names muddled up. Um, so, yeah, oh, I've already got a butterfly by there. Should I pop this? Should I pop it by there? Yeah, let's pop it by there. Pop it over the flowers. These stickers are kind of like semi-transparent as well. But they're ever so nice. Oh, there's a clock there. Should we have a clock? Because it's the summertime. Yes, it is. Well, you wouldn't think so if we looked outside, but it really is. It is summertime. Um, mum, 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 mum. Let's put the clock there. No, let's put the clock. No, I don't want to cover the words. Oh, let's put it there on the ticket. There we go. And then another label. I love these sticky labels. I think they are super cool. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, this is exciting. Because not only that, but these labels have got like bits of gold on them too. So they're like bringing the glitter now. Let's pop that one down there, shall we? Yes. Okie dokie. My nose is all full up now this evening. I don't know whether it's hay fever or what. It must be, I guess. I had to bath the puppy earlier on today. I was not impressed. I sat here working quietly all day. And then he... I heard him squeak downstairs, so I ran down thinking, oh, I must need to go to the loo. i got to be honest, he's so quiet, I forget he's there half the time. Um, sorry, I don't mean that to sound like in a really neglectful way, but I mean like, you know, an hour or two ago, and I just forget he's sleeping. And then he, he, I heard this little squeak, and I thought, oh, perhaps he needs the loo. So I shot down the stairs as fast as my feet would go, which is not very fast these days. And, um, yeah, he yeah, didn't need the loo. He'd blooming been to the loo. I was not impressed. But he was in a bit of a mess, so I don't know whether he'd done any lead on it or something. So I was like, right, uh, in the bath. In the bath. So he had his first bath today, which is not bad going, because we've had dogs that have been here like days before and they're in the bath. But uh, we have had him now about four and a half weeks, so <laughs> it's not bad going, bless him. But um, yeah, I wasn't impressed. So I said, well, much more of that, and you'll be going out with the big ones in the kennel outside. Don't like messy dogs in the house, no. But, uh, so yeah, so that was my middle of the day interlude. And then, um, my little taxi in bit then. What did we do on the weekend? My goodness, what did I do on the weekend? Oh, I went to church with my oldest yesterday. We went down to my sister's church. Um, to visit down there. And then... My mum had a visit from, I'm not sure she's told you all yet, we've had a new baby in the family this week. Oh, it's so exciting. My old, my sister is, is a little bit older than me. She, there's about 12 years between us. Um, and then incidentally, there's 12 years between me and her oldest son, my nephew. Well, he has just had his second baby this week. So very excited. We had a little girl. So I'm a great aunt <laughs> at 42. Twice. Um, yes, I am. Twice. Uh, twice over. Sorry, that wasn't you. I was yelling at. I just uh, <laughs> kids texting me. Are you recording? Yes, I am recording. <laughs> oh, I can't bother to turn off and on tonight. Come on. Let's get this up. There we go. There we go. Oh, there. Devil to get up. Right. Let's pop that one there. That's better because that open space there was annoying me. Right. I'm going to run this through my machine now and then we'll see how it looks and then we'll put some bling bits on it, shall we? Right. Let me just put a bit more lace by there because I think it needs a little bit of lace there. Come along, glue. Come along. Yes, it's funny. I've been missing uh, the girls and their chats this week. It was nice. Uh, one nice thing about the retreat, or one of the nice things about the retreat, was to just be able to sit and have a chat with everybody, especially in the evenings. 
and the things that we were talking about made you laugh because you think I never expect me to be having a conversation about this for example and I know I can say this because I know she's already told you on her channel um I think the biggest reveal for us all <laughs> was being sat there the one evening and Angela Kerr telling us how she <laughs> does her videos in her pajamas and puts a nice top over the top <laughs> Oh, I was roaring. I was absolutely roaring. And I was like, but Angela, you're always so nicely turned out. And you're always just so, you know, everything's just lovely. And she said, yes, but I can be lovely in my pyjamas. I, I, mind you, I say, I'm sure she has the most lovely pyjamas. So I don't think it makes any difference. But um, but no, that did make us all giggle. So she was telling us about going and putting a nice top over the top. So her arm, she was saying my arm showing. <laughs> oh, she's so funny. She did not make us giggle. She really did. I mean, a lovely girl come. Uh, she just came for the day, um, Emma. Hi, Em. Um, she came for the day on the first day. She travelled quite a way. Mum and Dad had driven her down from Patalbert. Um, and then she was supposed to come the second day, but she'd had an appointment come up, so couldn't make it to the second day. So she came for the first day, which was only a half a day. So I did say to her, oh, if you can get your mum and dad to come back, bring you back come back and and she did bless her she came for the third day so we had a lovely time with emma and um i know she really enjoyed meeting some of our other ladies that were there and i think they've met up again since the retreat as well so that's really nice because people have made friendships now from it that you know um and carry on with you know it's, it's you know not just and which is great because i know a lot of people traveled quite a way so for us to have found a few that live near each other and have been able to travel just a bit to kind of catch up and go and do something crafty or meet up for a bit of you know, a cup of coffee or something, I think it's really nice. Um, cause I know there's a lot of people that are still struggling to get back out and find community after COVID. So, um, yeah, no, that was really lovely to, to hear that. Um, and that, you know, it helped people build their confidence a bit as well, isn't it? So... Right, I'm going to just go to my sewing machine and then go into stitch and then I will show you how it looks after. Won't be long. Okay, so I've done my stitching. I'm going to just lift it up now to show you. So you can see now the blue, see the blue teal thread? And I've done it on, um, it's the wavy stitch. That's the only thing I know uh, to call it. And it just does like a big wide wave. And I put it on the widest um, that it'll go so that they're not too tight. Does that make sense? And I'm just going to now add on some little bits of bling. So I've got a couple of these little heart charms here. I thought we'd add some of those on. And I've got a couple of the stars. And then I've got a few of these. I keep misplacing my scissors. Which I thought we could put on sporadically as well. But obviously, if you're going to put stuff like this on, do it after you stitch. Because if you hit your needle on any of these things, oh, by golly, are you going to know it? Um, and I, I've, I've done that. I did it when I was using a machine before, which I think was actually my mother's machine. Um, and a, a needle snapped on that. And oh my word, it's quite scary. I mean, took my eye out. So I don't recommend you try doing that. If you're going to um, stitch, do your stitching before you put anything bulky or with charms on. Okay, we don't want any injuries, do we? No, we do not. Right, so I'm going to just pop a little one down there. There we go. And then let's have our first heart on here as well. Pop that on there. And I am using the three-in-one to do this because um, I don't think the other glues I've got will hold these on as well as this does. Oops. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's, everything is sticking to me now. It's all stuck to me now. Let's put that little heart in there. One of our dancing lady. There we go. Right, we have that star that I went to put on earlier and then took back off. Because I think that looked quite nice as well. You could add buttons on if you wanted to add embellishments on. Buttons are always a nice embellishment choice i did have some yellow ones here somewhere I... oh there they are there we go. so i've got a nice jar here of all my little yellow buttons so i'm gonna pop one or two of those on there because they are quite vibrant 
just the little ones though. Um, and then in here as well, I got these. Um, I couldn't tell you where these came from. I think mum gave me this jar when she was having a clear out a couple of years back. So I don't actually know where she got these little bits and pieces from, but they've been great in the, um, with the boho. So there you go. So just, just some little sparkly bits and pieces here and there, just to add a little bit of, of interest and, and bling. Because it's all about the bling, right? Of course it is. It's boho. It's all about the bling. There we go. There we are. Um, and then that one there. And uh, da, 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 da. that's got a little bit of glitter on there. I'm going to put one on this label here because that label's a bit dull. Offense, but it's brown. I mean, really, what was I thinking? Brown on a boho. What's this called? Snippet roll. I mean, come on. Brown? No. Um, which way does this go? That way, I think. There we go. Uh, so I'm knowing these stars. Pop it by there, I think. Now. What can we do with these snippety bolts? Well, you can cut them down to make clusters. They will make them rather lovely clusters. You can use them to make pockets. You can cut them down to make tucks. I think that would make a superb belly band, if I'm being honest. Um, so yeah, they are very versatile. And I think they just make a really lovely addition to any journal. And also, they're a great way to use up all your leftovers. Because um, I am busting now, guys. This is, I've had to take all my self-control to kind of finish this project off. Because Phyllis is my witness. I haven't finished any journals whilst doing the 100-day project. I just I've literally frog leaped from project to project to project. And I was gutted when we were away. And I was like, I have made journaling months. I need to finish this journal. So I have had to be very controlled because I am desperate to crack on with the Truly Blue kit. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. I've been desperate to do some blue for a couple of months. and I, But I didn't want to just flip onto that and not finish this off. So um, I just wanted to make sure we took the time to do this and to finish it off properly. Now, of course, if you haven't finished your boho journals, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to do my Truly Blue journal in two different styles. Not in the same journal. I'm going to make two, I've decided. <laughs> I'm being ambitious now. Um, I'm going to do one in a uh, kind of vintage shabby chic, of course, style. And then I'm going to try and do one in a boho style. Because the boho is just everywhere in the room. And I've got all those lovely blues up there. So I'm just thinking, why not, hey? Why not? Let's just give it a go. Because um, I think it's going to work. So, you know... And it's nice to combine. I love combining kits and, and <coughs> themes and stuff anyway. So, well, there we are. Oh, do you know what? I'm really pleased with that. I think that looks amazing. What do you reckon? Can you see it? Does it look cool? I think it looks brilliant. And oh, I don't know if you can see there, but I, I can see on my desk all the little shimmery bits, especially the gold on the, the labels as well. I think they look fantastic. So there we are, guys little bit of inspiration for you today if you've got a desk full of all these scraps and bits and pieces left over like this get yourself a snippet roll made up and then you can see then later on in the week what i'm going to do with mine because i'm going to finish off my other boho journal and make a start now on my truly blue so that's it from me today guys i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope you've enjoyed the catch up again apologies for the spamming on the youtube comments but please don't let it put you off commenting providing you don't click on the link they can't harm you so just ignore them all right that's the best thing you can do with people like this just completely ignore them and they will go away so i hope you have a wonderful evening and i will be back with you all very soon take care now Bye bye <laughs>